Thinking about getting a metal roof? Believe it or not, the term metal roof doesn't just mean one type of roofing. In this video, we go over the five types of metal roofs. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. Hey guys, I'm Lauren. Welcome back to the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, or welcome if you're new here. Please be sure to like and subscribe as we release new videos weekly. So, as we mentioned earlier, the term metal roof is pretty vague. There's actually more types of metal roofing than you probably realize, and we're going to help you break it all down in this video as we go over the five different types of metal roofs. So first, let's start with aluminum roofing. Aluminum is a lightweight material. Depending on the panel, it can weigh as little as half a pound per square foot. This makes it easy to work with and install, while also putting less stress on your home or building. However, being lightweight doesn't mean it's weak, as aluminum has one of the highest strength to weight ratios of all the metals. Aluminum is also corrosion resistant and one of the few metals recommended for use on the coast, as it will not corrode when it comes into contact with salt spray from the ocean. Now, let's talk about the downsides of aluminum roofing. When compared to steel, aluminum is a softer metal. This makes it more vulnerable to denting from hail and the weight of falling branches or debris. Aluminum roofing is also not as common as steel roofing, which makes it harder to find and not available in as many color options as steel. Finally, aluminum roofing comes at a higher price than steel, costing roughly 30% more. While aluminum costs less than other roofing materials we're going to discuss in this video, it's not the most affordable metal roofing option. Now, let's talk about a type of roofing that's commonly confused with aluminum, and that's tin roofing. Tin was once a very popular roofing material because it's lightweight, which makes it easy to maneuver and install. However, the popularity of tin roofs began to rapidly decline over a century ago. Tin roofs began being replaced by aluminum and now are extremely rare to find. Today, when somebody refers to a tin roof, they're usually referring to either aluminum or steel. From the least common type of metal roofing to the most common, let's talk about steel. It's important to note that when the term metal roofing is used, it's most commonly referring to steel. Even though all the materials we're discussing are metal, when someone says metal roofing, it's a safe bet that they're referring to a steel roof. Once installed, the maintenance on a steel roof is minimal, other than annual inspections and cleaning as needed. Steel is also the least expensive option and costs about 30% less than aluminum and a fraction of the cost of copper or zinc. It's also resistant to mold, mildew, termites, pests, and fires, with steel panels receiving a Class A fire rating. Arguably, one of the greatest benefits of steel is the cost. While there is a wide price range in steel roofing depending on the type of panel you choose, Steel roofs are the most affordable type of metal roofing when you use an exposed fastener panel like 70's corrugated or R panel. There are also standing seam steel panels which provide greater leak resistance and are often preferred for their appearance, but they come at a higher cost, up to twice as much as exposed fastener panels. And the last benefit we're gonna discuss about steel roofing is variety. Each type of steel roof profile has a slightly different shape that gives off a completely different appearance. Corrugated metal roofing can be wavy or boxy. Standing seam roofing is flat with raised ribs. Metal shingle roofing replicates the look of shingles but provides the durability of metal. Metal slate roofing looks like slate but is much lighter and easier to work with. And metal tile roofing gives you the look of tile with all the benefits of metal. Steel roofing also comes with some downsides. For starters, it's not for use on the coast. This is because the salt spray from the ocean will cause the steel to rust prematurely and result in roof problems that will have to be either repaired or replaced. While steel, especially standing seam, is considered a lifetime roof, lasting 40 to 60 years, it's actually not the longest lasting type of metal roof. While this isn't a concern for most homeowners as the roof will last as long as they need it to, it is something to consider when building a commercial or notably larger scale project. Copper and zinc, the roofs that we're going to discuss next, can last centuries. In fact, 
copper is the longest lasting type of metal roof. But that's not its only benefit. Copper is also strikingly attractive, while beauty is in the eye of the beholder. A copper roof is highly regarded around the globe as being an elegant, visually appealing roof. Its beauty is enhanced by color change over time, thanks to patina. The natural variations in color from this process make the look of each copper roof unique. The natural process that turns copper from looking like a shiny penny into a blue-green color makes it resistant to rust. This is why copper is one of the go-to materials for roofing when a building is located near the ocean. While copper is a premium type of metal roofing, it also comes at a premium cost. Which brings us to the downsides of copper. Copper is one of the most expensive types of metal roofing. It costs approximately four to six times as much as steel. Even if you're willing to spend the extra money for a copper roof, copper roofing isn't easy to come by. Given its higher expense, there are fewer choices of roofing suppliers that offer copper roofing sheets, given that it's expensive to keep in stock. In many instances, it will have to be ordered specifically for your job, and that can delay the schedule for your project. And when you are able to get a hold of copper sheets for your roof, keep in mind that copper is a softer metal and can be dented from falling objects such as hail. We recommend that if you're going to spend this type of money on a copper roof, you should use a 20 ounce copper. Copper roofs usually come in either 16 ounce or 20 ounce, and upgrading from 16 to 20 will cost you about 25% more. The last type of metal roofing is zinc. Zinc roofs are very similar to copper roofs, and they share the same benefits, drawbacks, and cost. A zinc roof is seen as an attractive, upscale roofing material that also forms an attractive zinc carbonite layer during its patina process. The result from this process is a beautiful blue-gray patina that makes zinc corrosion resistant and another excellent roofing choice for homes on or near the ocean. Zinc roofs also last a remarkably long time, at 60 to 100 years, although there are zinc roofs on historical buildings that have lasted even longer. With only a handful of suppliers in the United States, zinc roofing is even harder to come by than copper. Zinc roofs also share the same downsides as copper roofs. It's one of the most expensive types of roofing, only slightly less than copper. One negative that is unique to zinc is a chalky residue that can appear on zinc's surface once it patinas. After turning to its blue-gray color, it's possible for a chalky residue to develop in areas where water runs on the roof. As you can see, there are quite a few different options when it comes to metal roofing. When deciding on which metal roof is right for you, we recommend starting with these first three considerations. One, deciding on a desired style and the overall look you want your roof to have. Two, looking over your budget to see what makes sense for you financially. And three, installation. Some of these roofs are more DIY friendly than others. So are you gonna have your roof installed professionally or are you gonna do it yourself? We hope you found this video helpful and hopefully it helped you decide which metal roofing panel might be right for you. Western States Metal Roofing offers metal panels in copper, corrugated roofing, and standing seam. To learn about the differences between corrugated roofing and standing seam, watch this video. You can find step-by-step -step installation videos and homeowner guides on our channel. And don't forget to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribe. Want to learn more? Check out these videos.